back to my channel today i'm going to be talking about some newborn essentials if you're pregnant or you have a newborn baby and you're just confused on what to get or what would work those first few months then this video is definitely for you i will say disclaimer that uh, moms are different babies are different what works for me might not work for you but um what i'm going to be talking about today are things that i found really really helpful those first few months well basically from zero to three months um when the baby was still small and all that good stuff so if you're interested just keep watching so the first things are the breastfeeding essentials breastfeeding essentials i already talked about them in my breastfeeding journey video so if you want to know about more about those things then you can definitely go check out that video you can just fast forward it until like just part of the end that's where i talk a little bit about these things so it's the breast pump which i talked about the nursing pillow some nursing pads uh some breast pads i mean um nursing bras and a nursing cover um, just a few things that you're going to be needing if you are planning to breastfeed the next thing that I want to talk about um, By the way guys, I am using my iPad here. It has my list. So don't mind me if I keep on looking at it So the Next thing that I want to talk about are baby 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 diapering essentials um, These are things that you're going to need for all your diaper situations with your baby um, the first thing that I want to talk about is a diaper bin. Um, I will insert a picture somewhere here or in the next slide or something, depending on how I decide to edit this. Yes, you will see that's the diaper pill that we're using. We use the Angel Care one. It is really good. I love it so much. Um, it's quite easy to find. I bought it in babies are us which is where i bought most of my stuff babies are us just cam and woolworths i'm gonna be talking about mostly those three shops because that's where i buy most of my baby stuff so yeah the death pill is the angel care brand it has um, a specific type of um, plastic bags that you use which kind of keep out the smell because babies are going to poop a lot when they're newborns they're gonna poop all the time so you're gonna need something that's going to lock in all that smell so i found that the diaper pill works great so the dip, i call it a diaper pill as well it's, it's the same thing it's like a diaper bin obviously if you're having a baby you're going to need diapers the diapers that we use are the the pampers baby premium care ones these are the ones that we use these are obviously a size five and my baby's like at a size three but i did not have the packaging for the size three because what we do is we pack them in a little this little thing so that we throw away the package so this is basically what the diaper looks like i particularly love this uh, brand because it just is better it feels like a cloth it's cloth like um, so it's not too harsh on the skin and it also um, does not have any leakage. I've tried the normal Pampers before and I've seen that that one has some leakage and it feels more like plastic compared to this one. So I've kind of just stuck with this one. I used it from the very beginning when Rue was born. I've seen that moms are different. You can either be a Huggies mom or a Pampers mom and I'm definitely a Pampers mom. I love Pampers and I just gravitate more towards it and I grew up just knowing that baby stuff are Pampers so I kind of stuck to that when I became a mom. The next thing I want to talk about are baby wipes. The baby wipes that we use are the Pampers wipes. Like I said, I'm a Pampers mom. These both, these type of wipes. Um, but the, the ones that I love the most are actually these Aqua Pure ones. They're also from Pampers, so I love these ones, but they're not so easy to find. So they are very, very popular, I guess, with mom. So not, I don't find them in the shops all the time. They sell them at Discam. Um, I don't find them all the time, but when I do, I try to stock up as much as I can. So if I can find these, I find these, they work just the same. So yeah, these are the Pampers that I use. I have tried the Johnson's ones. The Johnson's Johnson's wipe gets dry very quickly so I didn't really like that about them and these ones I think they stay pretty wet for a long time so that's why I like these ones I also like these ones because of this type of thing 
where you can open and close it to kind of keep the moisture in i know some pampers some wipes not pampers but some wipes they just don't have this they look they just when you open them it's open it's open and i don't like that so i need something that i can close so that they stay wet the next thing that i want to talk about is a uh, diaper rash cream it's from pure beginnings i love this one so much because it it just smells really good and i haven't had any problems as far as diaper problems or rash problems when it comes to diaper rash or anything like that with rue because this is the one that we've been using and i also love it because it doesn't leave that um that whitish thing that other diaper rash creams do like where your baby's butt needs to be so white and stuff like that like it doesn't rub on all the way so it has to have that whiteness that it still stays when you finish putting it on them so i love this one because it doesn't do that it leaves it moisturized it looks good so this is the one that i love um the next thing that i want to talk about is a diaper bag oh this is what you use when you need to leave the house or you need to go somewhere and you can put all kinds of things that the baby will need on that trip in a bag like this there are all kinds of diaper bag i particularly love 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 this one because it's a diaper bag but you look good while having it because i think it's so cute um, I got this at Serurubele. I talked about Serurubele in my breastfeeding video when I was talking about the nipple cream. Um, that same place is where I got this bag. So it comes with it comes with a changing mat, like this one, in case you need to change your baby somewhere and you need to put him down somewhere. It comes with a changing mat like this. You can put him down on it and change the diaper. And it also comes with this little um, cooler type thing. You put your baby's bottle inside and it keeps it nice and cold for a little while while you're traveling with your baby. And I love that so much. Yeah, man, I love this pillow. I'm a particularly somebody who doesn't like things that are particularly made for a thing. Like when I was pregnant, I didn't like maternity clothes at all. I would rather just buy something in a bigger size. I don't like maternity clothes. They made you look old and tired and pregnant and i just didn't like that they just didn't look cute so even for that for a diaper bag i didn't want to look like so much like a mom with like a weird looking bag that says baby 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 um i wanted something that's going to be cute for me but also be very very functional for all the things that baby needs now with baby bathing essentials for me um i know a lot of people talk about baby might need a baby needing a bathtub but I actually just love to just bath him in our normal bathtub because it just works better for me. I don't know. I just love using it. So I don't really need the bath, baby bathtub or anything like that. But when it comes to when it comes to what I use for baby's skin and all that good stuff, I tried so many things. Um, I've tried so many wow so many things because my baby really suffered with dry skin or still does still suffers with dry skin a little bit of eczema and all that stuff so i had to try all kinds of stuff for him i used um epimax i used the epimax aqua 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 cream from epimax i also used their little oil based wash thingy which I loved because it kept his skin soft and moisturized, but it didn't work for me also. It didn't work for me um, because of the fact that it was very slippery during bath time and what it would, what would, it would make it so hard to kind of wash him, especially on those first few months where he can't particularly sit up on his own or hold his head up. So he needed a lot of support. So I didn't need him to be slipping up and down. So it made the, the whole thing slippery so i just didn't think it was safe so i decided to just not use it and then the other thing that i used was sebamed i used the sebamed lotion and i also used the sebamed shampoo and bath wash um i just really didn't see a difference with my baby when i used them um it didn't really like i just didn't see anything different it just his skin his skin was still dry he needed me to keep moisturizing him every hour or so still and nothing really changed and then i tried what i've been sticking with cetaphil is what we are using right now 
his skin is still dry and we still need to moisturize him every now and again but i really really love this one because he stays kind of moisturized a little bit longer um so yeah man we use this is the baby daily lotion and this is the the gentle wash and shampoo so this we use for his body and his hair to clean him so this is kind of what we are using for his skin during a bath time and yeah we love it uh, the lotion has shea butter which means which i love i love shea butter because it is just really good for moisturizing and all that fun stuff so this is what we use for his skin now rue was born in october so when i decided when i was buying him clothes i didn't spend a lot of money on clothes i didn't buy a lot of clothes i just didn't think it was it was necessary because he just barely left the house you know here in botswana we have um a period after you have a baby which we call botsetsi basically is when a mom and a baby are not supposed to leave the house for a period of time culturally it either lasts three months or six months depending on your belief but um now obviously with the times changing and all that good stuff things are different so you kind of decide on how long you're going to do it depending on your family or what you decide um so yes we did go through that period for me we did it for about a month and a half and because there was that period we decided that i decided that um we were just not gonna buy that much clothes for him but and also it was summer so it was hot so we didn't really buy much in terms of like um, you know heavy clothes and whatever so what we stuck with these are kind of short sleeved bodysuits that we used for him he has these in different sizes i mean in different colors we got some of these in edgar's and some of these we got in woolworths so yeah man these this is literally what he lives in since he was born he's now five months and he still lives in this because the weather has not changed it's still pretty hot so this is where he lives he doesn't even wear pants he just put this on and he spends the whole day with them in cases of when it gets a little war a little um colder outside or cooler we do have a few onesies these ones i love so much i got these from cotton on i love them so much because they have this little thing that covers his 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 hands and also they are zippers these cover his hands because oh my god i cannot find mittens anywhere in in the in in the city i literally looked so hard for them and i couldn't find any mittens anywhere so we opted for buying onesies that kind of covered his his hands because homeboy loves to touch his face he loves to scratch his face his nails grow so quickly so yeah we just needed something that kind of covers his hands um and also I, like i said i love this because it's a zipper and i love zipper onesies because they're just easier for those nighttime changes and just everyday just accessibility is just much easier because oh my god the snip 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 of buttons is just too much i just feel like we have like those type because it's not easy to find these but we also these are the ones that i really love so he has a few of zipper ones they can zip from the bottom bottom and they can zip from the top so that's why i love them so much they're just easier you can get these at cotton on i know cotton on sells zipper onesies which is where i get all of these and also i've i've bought one from woolworths but it was literally the one that i found just one that was a zipper and i bought that one and yeah so if you want a zipper onesie like this one you can find it at cotton on now if you and your baby are leaving the house and you're just like that type of mom some moms don't like to leave the house for me i love to leave the house and i love to leave the house with my baby so i definitely needed these things so if you're that mom then these will come in very handy obviously you need a stroller a stroller the stroller that we have i'll link a picture here or here or here or like a short video whatever the stroller that we have is by bounce and we got it at babies are us it comes with a car seat and also it comes with um another part that i don't know what to call it but it has a car seat part which is one that he's been using the car seat part he hasn't quite gotten big enough to use the other part so he's been using the car seat part where we just take the car seat 
put it on the stroller when we get to our destination and move about with it then that i want to talk about obviously it's a car seat i already mentioned it when it came ours came with a stroller so that worked great for us other strollers don't come with car seats and you have to buy a car seat separately so yeah you can do that if that's what you're into um, the next thing that i want to talk about obviously is the baby carrier the baby carrier i talked a little bit about it on my instagram i have an instagram post where i'm actually wearing my baby um the one that i use is this one from snuggle Roo. i love 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 this one because it is like a wrap uh, more than like a carrier it works like a carrier because it has these things but I love the fact that it's a wrap and a wrap is more intimate and it has your baby a lot more closer to your chest especially when they are so small and they're newborns during that zero to three month stage so I love this one because it doesn't have the hassle of trying to figure out how to put a wrap on but also it has the benefits of an actual wrap so I love it so much the next thing that I want to talk about is an activity mat. It is just a play mat. We have one that we were gifted, to, that was actually gifted to us during our baby shower. And we love it so much. Uh, he uses it all the time. He's been using it from ever since he was a baby, um, ever since he was a newborn, up until now when he's five months and he absolutely loves it. Um, a play mat is great because he can play with, you can hang um, different types of toys over him to look at when he's playing because when he's still a baby like that, he doesn't sit up so all he does is lie down and he needs something that can entertain him while he's lying down. So it's great because he can just look at all the toys that are hanging over him and all that good stuff. And yeah, man, it's great. And it's also great for tummy time. You know, you can put him on his tummy and there are all kinds of funny, fun little gay, um, fun little colors and patterns on the mat that he can look at while he's on his tummy. The next thing that I want to talk about is a bouncer. Either you call it a bouncer or you get a chair or you get a swing. Just to, some way to put your baby when he is uh, just chilling and doesn't want to sleep quiet or he just wants to relax and whatever. A bouncer is definitely something you should get for us we have a rocker and ru loves it guys it's just one of those things that we are so glad that we got because he sleeps in it sometimes it's not safe for him to sleep on it for a long time but it really helps him relax to a point where he gets tired and he sleeps but when he falls asleep we move him to the crib so yeah like it's just some way to put him and the rocking movement and the the rhythm of that rocking type thing kind of helps him relax and it makes him soothes him and it makes him calm and he loves it and uh, yeah he's still using it now but he's like growing it a little bit because he's sitting up now so he's like growing it he kind of just doesn't like to the whole he doesn't like lying down as much as he used to when he was a little baby if you are going to have a nursery for your baby then these are things that I think you are going to need obviously you need a crib we have a crib right here that is the crib that we use for him obviously right now we are kind of um, co-sleeping but not sleeping together on the same bed we are room sharing he does use his he sleeps on his camp on his on his crib and we sleep here on the bed so that's kind of what is happening right now but he is he does have a nursery and it is set up for him the problem is that he's still so small and the nursery is a little bit far away from our room so we just figured let him just stay here for a little while just up until he's able to sleep through the night and not need those night feedings he will be sleeping here with us and yeah man so if you have a crib if you have a nursery set up for your baby what you need is a crib obviously if you're gonna get a crib you need a mattress you need some sheets um the mattress we can you can find in game you can also find it in babies are us excuse me you can also and the sheets you can find them in babies are us you can find them at game as well you can also find sh crib sheets at woods they are there as well um another thing that you need is a changing pad something like this this is a changing pad guys 
Now this changing pad is kind of it's waterproof so if he pees or whatever happens you can just easily wipe it off and it's fine. Another thing that you want is a dresser or a chest of drawer. We have one here. This is his. It's not ours. This. Yes. It's not ours. It's his. It's what he uses. That's where he put all, all of his clothes and all that good stuff. So that's what you need that as well. Apparently people, you know, moms used to just suck uh, the mucus themselves with like their mouth it's really gross but i think you know it's your baby and you have to do what you have to do but thank god for technology we don't have to do that anymore because let's be real guys that is gross it's really 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 gross so they made these these are supposed to help with all of that i don't particularly like these because you can't clean them I don't know how you're supposed to clean them or anything you can get in like you just put like it you just I don't know how you're supposed to clean these they're just but luckily the good people of the world decided that they are not going to put moms through all that by designing this thing from um, this nasal aspirator from nose Frida I love it so basically what happens is that you put this part on baby's nose when he's feeling a little sick and you suck and then when you suck it out it's gonna come out or whatever mucus is gonna come out don't worry about sucking the mucus up there's some kind of filter that is in there that helps kind of stop the mucus from coming all the way to your mouth and i think this works great because it's also easy to clean and kind of easy to use as well and yeah luckily though we haven't had to use it much because rue has not gotten any kind of sick ever since he was born he just doesn't get sick um i am so blessed that that is the case but yeah he hasn't gotten sick so we haven't had to use it much we've used it here and there but really it's like I usually just use it just to feel like I'm using it but I know that at one point it's gonna come in handy winter is coming around so I know that it's going to happen and I'm gonna need this so this comes in handy especially if your baby is going to be born in the winter but the next thing that I want to talk about is a thermometer I think as new moms we are obsessed and so scared of our babies getting sick we are so scared of baby getting sick so we want to be sure that our baby is fine you just need a thermometer just so that to make sure and to push yourself at ease and also to help you know if there's something wrong or something that you need to look out for the next thing that i want to talk about uh, is a nail clipper now if you're like me you are terrified of clipping your baby's nails babies have long nails that's for sure and they need their nails to be clipped but for me i was horrified of like doing it because i thought that i was going to chop my baby's finger off i would be shaking a little bit i just never did it and i found out this tip that i could just use my teeth and i've been using my teeth ever since but if you are not that mom yes you can get a nail clipper and you're not terrified of cutting your baby's nail off you can just do it with the nail clipper just the small one we have a small one i have no idea where it is because we never use it but just the small nyana nail clipper, you use it to clip baby's nails because baby's nails grow really, really fast and they're always long and babies like to scratch their faces and touch their faces. So you really want to keep their nails as short as possible so that they don't injure themselves. I will try to link everything that I talked about on this video in the description box below. So do check that out. Thank you so much for watching guys. Hope you subscribe and like this video. Hope that it was helpful for any new mamas out there or anyone who's pregnant who's kind of freaking out and trying to figure out what they need to get for their baby hopefully this helps to know what you need to get or what you need to put on your registry and all that good stuff i love you guys thank you for the continuous support i hope you guys are staying safe i know that it is such a crazy time right now um, with the whole lockdown and covid 19 thing i know that it's scary and it's crazy and it's kind of amplified when you are a mom and you have a small baby at home but hang in there this all is going to be over soon this too shall pass so just make sure that you do what you're supposed to do in terms of staying home 
washing your hands and sanitizing if you don't have access to a tap or anything like that and most importantly just social distancing and staying home and doing what you're supposed to do thank you for watching once again and bye